all right your website is down you start getting this kind of fatal error which says uncaught error call to a member function blah blah, blah and there is some sort of code mentioned here and you don't know what to do you have no idea how to fix this and make your website back up online so and you even don't know what could be the reason of this particular issue first of all you can do is simply copy this only WP admin URL and then try to open the URL and see if it works if it still doesn't work that means issue is within some sort of plugin or themes functionality so when you check out the code mentioned into this fatal error uh, warning you will find out the plugins name or themes name so here you can see WP includes class hook and then it says the code snippets which is one of my plugins I have installed on the website so um, here is how to fix this critical error if your website is hosted on SiteGround uh, here are the steps if it is hosted on other hosting service provider just follow the similar steps and it will fix the issue so now go to your hosting service uh, provider account and where your website is hosted so I open the website here now make sure if you are on site ground most of the time like uh, if you are on medium or pro plan usually they back up your website every day with automatically so you don't have to worry about simply check out the backup and go here and restore the backup okay what if your website is hosted on different service provider and you don't have any backup handy so what to do now because we know the plugin which is causing this issue is code snippet okay it is very simple you have to do is go to site and then file manager and under the file manager if you go to public underscore html and here wp content and under wp content go to plugins now i have to search for the plugin which is causing the issue because i know the name code snippets i just have to search for the code snippets so now i found the code snippets what i have to do is select code snippets and then rename so here i just rename it to temp okay or inactive whatever name you want to go with doesn't matter it's just for your reference for now and then confirm once you confirm that that means this plugin functionality is inactivated or deactivated on your website now if you go and open your website the website should start working okay now if you go back to the plugins page so install plugins here you will see the code snippet is not active now what happen if I activate this plugin so it will start catching the error again so now what to do is code snippet active now the plugin activated is of this name code snippet dot inactive okay so now again I have to rename the plugin and then confirm and see if it fix the issue now the issue is fixed simply what you have to do is you have to delete the corrupt plugin okay now because the issue is fixed I have deleted the corrupt plugin go back to the file manager refresh and once you refresh the file manager go back to plugin HTML code WP content and plugins you see the the plugin file is not exist anymore now what if I want to use this plugin again doesn't matter simply go to add new and search for that particular plugin code snippet if that particular plugin is pro version or premium plugin you just go to your premium plugin purchase website where from wherever you purchase the plugin and download from there simply install now and let me activate and see whether it works and activate 
somehow the plugin has one of the files which is being corrupted make sure your website is back online first with it and simply rename it to whatever name you want to go with and then go back online okay and go and search for another plugin called WP optimize WP T I M I Z E and simply install now and activate this plugin so this is the free version but free version would be enough to fix this issue what you have to do is once you activate make sure you delete the culprit plugin okay make sure you purge the cache and now you go to WP optimize settings so once you go to the settings of the optimize plugin you know, database or you can go from here and then under the database you can clean up so run optimize database tables it may take a few minutes depends on how big is your website so right now the optimization is done once it's done you can try repeating these steps again if it still doesn't fix again change the name of the plugin let me refresh it so it goes away and once you change the name of the plugin come back which yeah come back to this thing now on the WP optimize go under database again same page but this time go to tables okay and under the tables search for the code snippet plugin okay so seems like this is the plugin uh, folder so yd and snippets okay now you want to get rid of each and every information so next time when you install the plugin back again uh, and doesn't get pre-existing data and cause the same issue so now this table is exist i simply remove make sure you have backup handy before you repeating any of these steps again so i confirm i understand the risk and remove the table once it's removed done i have to go back to plugin page add new and search for the code snippet again and here install now and then activate now after activating this plugin you can see the plugin is working fine if I open the snippet where is it here all the snippets all snippets are here so that there, there is no snippet available right now because I haven't created any snippet and voila plugin is working as it should be it's not corrupting the website it is not causing any kind of issue or error page that's it that's what you want so hope you learn something new please thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you will not miss any of the updates I am going to post on this channel also if you have any questions feel free to comment me in comment box below I always love to answer each and every comments to my viewers and subscribers there was a plugin causing this kind of issue easy fix if it was theme related issue what you have to do is make sure you have um, default theme already installed in your website never keep only one theme always keep default 2023 or whatever version of default WordPress theme available just make sure it's available on backup you just don't have to activate that theme you just have to have the theme as a backup and the theme you are using you can use it as usual if it's theme related issue what you have to do is from the back panel of your WordPress sorry from the back panel of your site ground you simply change the theme okay so hopefully so you have the theme handy inactivate or deactivate this particular theme like this uh, rename the theme 
and confirm once you inactive or deactivate the theme refresh the page and your website should go to the backup theme okay so now you don't have any theme available simply uh, activate the backup theme and that way if the issue is related to theme you can fix the issue now let me rename it back so it's back online and now refresh the page once it's refreshed it's okay all good hope you enjoy watching this video guys hope you learned something new today and hope your issue has been fixed now please again thumbs up like this video it helps me a lot please subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet so you will not miss any future updates thank you have a good one take care see you next time bye bye